Okay, hi everyone. Thank you for tuning in to our continuous glucose monitor webinar. I'm Alessandra. I do the marketing here for, doc for Chase Medical Research. And today we are going to be talking about what continuous glucose monitors are, the benefits, the common types of CGMs, and more. Our speakers will be our medical director, Dr. Joseph Sufer, and one of our research nurses, Amanda Aliu. Everyone will automatically be muted throughout the webinar. If you have any questions, please feel free to send them to us in the chat or a question mark symbol on the bottom of your screen, and they will be answered at the end of the webinar. Now I'm going to pass it along to Dr. Super for an introduction. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you for joining us. Uh, this is actually our first webinar uh, in a series of discussions we're going to be having on various topics regarding popular and uh, interest uh, topics that people have uh, told us they'd like to hear about. Today, we're going to concentrate on a new diabetic device called a continuous glucose monitor, or CGM. As you can see on the first slide, uh, what is a continuous glucose monitor, or a CGM? This is a, a compact medical system that continuously monitors your glucose levels more or less in real time. Now, the question always comes up, well, who should use a CGM? Well, over the years, the CGMs have been out for, oh, roughly 10 to 15 years. Initially, they were started out uh, for use with patients with type one. And those are particularly younger people uh, up to the age of 35 who had type one. However, more recently, uh, type 2 patients are now being uh, utilizing this particular device, even in patients who are pre-diabetic, patients who haven't been formally been diagnosed as being diabetics, but however, uh, have had changes in their blood sugars noted on a fasting blood sugar. Now, there's a lot of research underway to learn how to use CGMs that may benefit people more than just type 1s, but also with type 2 diabetes. Now, the benefits of a CGM are multiple. Uh, you get not only a single reading, but you get multiple readings in real time in what's called a dynamic system by which every minute or so, you get a reading that helps you to decide perhaps changes that you may need to make, whether it's in your diet, exercise, or if you're on insulin, how that can be adjusted as well for you. Now, a CGM device will give you valuable information for crucial points during the day, such as before or during exercise, prior to driving if you're prone to low blood sugars, before a test or an exam for those who are students, in the middle of the night for those patients who have low blood sugars, particularly uh, before they wake up in the morning, it also gives you notification of when your sugars are too low or too high, particularly, as I said earlier, when you're sleeping. Uh, by having insights into where your blood sugar is, particularly before certain foods that you may think don't really affect your blood sugar, or be surprised that certain foods that you didn't think had any effect on your blood sugar actually do. And this also, will be the same for patients or people who uh, are very active, or at times when people get somewhat ill and they like to know exactly where their blood sugars are. Now, the question is, what is a CGM uh, in terms of reliability and accuracy compared to a finger stick? Now, most people uh, up to the present time, because of insurance purposes, have been using a finger stick reading, which is actually a test that measures your sugar from your blood. Now, a CGM uses what's called interstitial fluid, which is a fluid that surrounds the cells of your tissue below your skin. Now, the CGMs and a finger stick, if you did it simultaneously, rarely match. Now, that's because there's a constant difference between the blood sugar level in your interstitial fluid versus the blood. However, <clears throat> finger sticks uh, will always be different from your CGMs, particularly since CGMs are constantly changing. But for the most part, they're both reliable and will give you fairly accurate readings. Now, 
at the present time, CGMs are worn anywhere from seven days to 14 days. Uh, there are situations where at this time, <clears throat> Chase Medical Research is now going to be testing a CGM that will actually be uh, used for more than 14 days, 21 days. It's an approved CGM that we're very anxious in starting in the very near future. At this time, I'd like to have uh, Amanda Aliu, my nurse, to talk about two commonly types of CGMs. Thank you, Dr. Super. Very nicely done. So, hi everybody. My name is Amanda. I'm one of the nurses here with, um, at Chase, and I do work a lot with the CGM devices that we use for the clinical trials. Um, so I do have some knowledge into the background of some of the ones that are most frequently used for uh, patients like yourselves in the community. So the two that you would most commonly see prescribed by a physician for your diabetes management would be either the Freestyle Libra or the Dexcom G6. There are differences between the two, but the both of them will do continuous glucose monitoring for you. They just do them like two different ways. So we'll look at the Freestyle Libra first. Uh, there's two different styles of the Freestyle Libra, and you have either the Freestyle Libra 2 or you have the Freestyle Libra 14 day. Um, the differences in both of those is the Freestyle Libra 2 will actually allow you to have real-time alarm data set. So when we're looking at real-time alarm data, it's really important for you guys as patients to know whether or not your blood sugar is trending into a very dangerous situation for you to have really low blood sugars or really high blood sugars. So that one you could set the target alarms and it will indicate an alarm for you. This one is a little bit um, not as technical as a Dexcom G6, but it will give the doctors quite really good data. You're able to wear them for up to 14 days. Um, there's no calibration finger sticks required for this one. So once you do the placement on the arm, uh, you will not need to do any finger sticks to calibrate it. Now, when you look at these devices, you can do them a couple of different ways. For this one, there is an application that you're allowed to set up with your smartphone and you can share data with your physician, which this makes this a really good and useful tool for you and your physicians for diabetes management for yourselves. The, um, this one also has a very easy insertion. So it's basically going to be a little round disc that you're going to have on your arm. And you, like I said, you can wear up to 14 days. This one is waterproof, but you can wear it up to 30 minutes in the water. So you really don't want to use this one for long periods of time. There are some contraindications with using CGM devices for different um, diagnostic tools. So if you were about to get an MRI, a CAT scan, or diathermy treatment, you would not be able to use these. The difference between this one and a Dexcom G6 is you will not get a continuous glucose read on your smartphone device. So you could download an application for this one, but you would have to continuously scan your receiver or the phone over the device in order to get a blood sugar reading at that time. So with that, we'll go into the Dexcom G6. So this one is kind of more of like the Cadillac of the CGMs. Uh, the Freestyle Libra Pro is going to be a little bit cheaper for you as far as insurance and for out-of-pocket costs, but the Dexcom G6 will give you a lot more accurate data because you get everything in real time. So once you download an application for this device, you're able to look at it on a smartwatch, you can look at it on your smartphone, and you're gonna see that data continuously. You will not need to scan it. Um, the variable different reports between the two kind of give you the same data, which is really good, like I said, for you and your physician. So, you can also share all your information that you download on your applications or even downloading the device through your computer and generate reports. So you can look at trend graphs to show how many times you've had hypoglycemic events, how many times you've had high blood sugar events, and what are the durations of times that these events lasted? Did they last, you know, were they more common before you were eating, two hours postprandial? Um, they give you a lot of different graphs so that it will definitely help you and your physician with your diabetes management and any medication changes or diet changes that you might need to know. So with the Dexcom G6, um, the application is a little bit different. You're working with 
um, putting an actual sensor on that lasts for 10 days. And then you also have a transmitter that you place in the cradle of the sensor, and that lasts you for 90 days. This one you will get in real time alerts for your um, upcoming low blood sugars and for high blood sugars. So the way that that works is it gets it into a trend to show you if you're moving into dangerous territory. So if you set your alarms for like say a blood sugar of 70, if you're if the device is noticing that you're heading in that direction, it's going to alarm you ahead of time so that you can make the corrective action so that you don't get yourself into a dangerous situation. Um, so both of them, very easy to use, give you a lot of different information, and they're wonderful for diabetes management and for treatment for you. So what does that mean? So cost of CGMs. What we're finding is insurances, are very difficult to get the cost covered. Uh, Freestyle Libra Pro, what we found are, you could probably get it, maybe some insurances, and again, it's gonna depend on the insurance company, for 10 to 65, $75 for the sensors a month out of pocket, and then $65 for the actual transmitter itself. So for the Dexcom G6, that's gonna be a little bit more different. Um, that one you can have a $300 out of pocket cost and be spending up to $4,000 out of pocket per year. Medicare at first was not going to be covering these devices because they a, did not find them necessary for treatment and they didn't want to put them under durable medical equipment. That has now changed, but there are high stipulations for them to cover these devices for you. So they were looking at individuals who have type one diabetes, type two diabetes, and if you're a type two diabetic, then you're looking at having to be on insulin multiple times a day and checking your blood sugars at least four times a day. So the stipulations of trying to get them covered make it a little bit difficult for you guys as patients. So we just talked about that. Um, so what does that mean for you? So we do offer quite a few diabetic trials um, that we're always enrolling for, and some of our diabetic trials that we enroll for do automatically have continuous glucose monitoring devices. So that means less finger sticks for you, less pain, and more ease of knowledge of knowing what your blood sugars are. So there could be a different you know, enrolling trial that we're doing that would just use the glucose monitoring device to monitor your sugars, or we're also enrolling currently for a continuous glucose monitoring device trial um, at this time. Dr. Sufer? Thank you very much, Amanda. <clears throat> it was very informative, and I hope everyone uh, captured uh, as much information as possible. However, uh, please uh, give us any questions that you may have that we can answer at this time. Thank you, Dr. Super and Amanda. Let's see here. Okay, at this time, we do not happen to have any questions. If you do have any questions in the future, you can always give us a call at 203-419-4404 or email us at research at chasemr.com for any future questions. Um, if you wanted to go on our website, Oh, I actually see a question come through right now. The question is, how do you get it? Amanda, can you, uh, uh, let me clarify that question. Uh, how do you get, you mean uh, <clears throat> where you can purchase it? Is that if you mean, uh, oh, from the doctor. Well, the doctor has to give you a prescription. That's the first step. So you have to bring it up to your doctor and say, I heard about this device called a CGM. Uh, and I'm interested in uh, learning more about it, which you have today, uh, and you like to get one. And I think at that point, um, the doctor will look into your, or ask you a little bit about your insurance. If you're on Medicare, as we explained, you need to fit those particular situations where you're taking multiple injections, checking yourself multiple times during the course of the day, uh, and that way, you have a fairly good chance of having it covered by Medicare. You can actually um, go online. So if you go on the Freestyle Libra website or the Dexcom G6 website, there are places on there where you can um, fill out a questionnaire and it can give you a little bit more information to see if it's something that might be covered for you based off your insurance. 
Thank you. Are there any more questions at this time? Okay, I don't see any more questions. So at this time, that concludes our webinar. Um, please send us, please send in any suggestions for topics that we can discuss in our next webinar. Um, and thank you. And again, if you have any questions, please feel free to call us or email us below. Um, as well as this recording will also be sent out to you as well for you guys to reference and look at uh, for any um, future information. And again, just as a reminder, we are participating in a very exciting new CGM device clinical trial. So please reach out to us to get some further details on that. We look forward to hearing from you guys. Thank you.